reason why we're here, because of Billy Joel. And it's Billy's great music, and we are redoing these songs again, as we did back in the 70s and 80s. And these people that have said over and over again, you guys have been the landscape for our lives. This musical uh, connection that we've got with, with these great lyrics and great melodies and great playing, and that's why we're coming here to do that music for these people the way we did it back in the day. One by one, phone calls after phone calls, and they decided that we were going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. And at that moment, <clears throat> um, I was really honored. I thought it was fantastic. I know we, we, we all did. And I was asked to, uh, um, well, I kind of took the ball and got the band, and I got Dave Clark. I put this whole band together and Lib, myself, and, and, and Russell joined uh, 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 together again as our three uh, original band members and they asked us to play one song that night and we ended up playing I guess three or four songs mm -hmm. and uh, Ron Delsner was there Ron Delsner thought it was the greatest thing he's ever seen since back in the 70s and he called myself and Andy into his office about a week or two later and he said you guys need to do this so well, that was really the beginning of it <laughs> if you do something good uh, it'll sustain a long time we played our parts in this great music that Billy wrote and um, all of a sudden, 40 years later, somebody paid attention to it, and uh, I was I was really struck by it, and I was very very honored. Again, thinking that wow, are we really going to do this? And then you start to look at the work that we've done, and it's like why not, you know? And that's where I I felt very very honored. I grew up on Long Island, I grew up in Plainview, so I used to see Billy play in all of the clubs. And in that same club, there was another band, uh, Billy was in the Hassles, and Lib was in a band called the New Rock Workshop. And so I remember seeing these two guys, and I was like so impressed with both of them, and I said, I'm going to be in a band with one of those guys. <laughs> First of all, I knew that these songs were really special. And I knew that, uh, you know, that the group collectively, we, we had an, uh, an undeniable chemistry. So I knew we were going to do something special. And, you know, it's hard to tell. It, it, also, when we'd go on the road, I mean, the reaction would be crazy. We were just talking about that today, what it felt like to, to go out there with those songs and, and all of our friends and all the spirit that we had playing it. And that's a little bit of what we're trying to bring to what we do now. 37 years ago, March 10th, the Glass Houses record was released. Liberty, Liberty was 10, you were 8, you were awesome. There's no crystal ball with this stuff. There's, there's no formula. It just happened. It was a chemistry of his lyrics, his music, our playing, our participants, our jokes, our Chinese food, <laughs> our producer. It, it just, it, it happened. It happened. And 40 years later, we're playing this stuff, and, and, and it's even better now. Oh, yeah. 